Hi, I'm Andre Mink, I'm the founder of Trademark Factory. And in this video, I'm gonna share my thoughts about yet another trademarking screw up. This time around, it's British chef James Cochran, who's finding himself in dispute with his former restaurant over the use of his own name. So let me just read it to you from the article. And yes, I'm gonna post the full URL to the article in the description below. So BBC Great British Menu Chef is in the midst of a row with his former restaurant, which trademarked his name and is selling the rights to his recipes. James Cochran left his self-named restaurant in the city of London earlier this year, the company I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Rayula, I think, has continued to trade the restaurant under the same name. Mr. Cochran, a former two Michelin star chef, argued that customers will be confused believing they're eating food cooked by him and that he will be unable to use his own name to market his new restaurant. Duh. So, da 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 Yeah, you can read all that stuff. And, uh... So here's the interesting part. The owners of the James Cochran brand said they had trademarked his name long ago before he left the company and that it was well before he secured his appearance on the Great British Menu. Now, here's the lesson. Just because it's your personal name, if you allow somebody else to get a trademark on your personal name as a brand, Yes, you allow them to own your name. And yes, that means that if there's a dispute or if one, one day you stop being a part of that uh, company that owns your name as their trademark, yes, they'll be able to prevent you from using your own personal name to sell the type of products or services that the company sells. That's kind of the purpose of the trademark. So. It's extremely important to understand that signing contracts, signing agreements that allow others to use or own your intellectual property is stronger, is more important than being the first owner in the first place. So be extremely careful, extremely careful what you sign because you won't be able to say, well, it's my name. It was your name until you signed a piece of paper that allowed somebody else to own the name as their trademark. And so the restaurant also mentioned that they offered him to buy the name out uh, and he doesn't want to do that. So again, he's uh, trying to resolve everything in the court of just social media you know, get people agitated that, how come somebody can own his name? It's my name. Again, the lesson here is be very careful what you sign. What you sign is more valuable than the rights to the name you had originally, whether it's because it was uh, your trademark or even if it was your personal name. Now, if you found this video useful, if you found it interesting, or if you've got a brand that you want to protect, make sure to subscribe to this channel because there's going to be a lot more, and I'll see you in the next video.